it's Friday again and we're ready to get ready for the market tomorrow and we've gone out to the green bean patch and just found an absolutely enormous amount of beans that look beautiful and wonderful and so we're out here picking them bright and early in the morning there's my helper he's down on his knees crawling through the patch and picking those beans off we had a big rain a couple of days ago and so everything's pretty muddy we watered this green bean row with drip tape and every time the rest of the patch got watered then it got watered too we had a real dry spell, so we had to put a lot of water on it. But then we had this big rain, and I think it really plumped up the pods so that they are very hydrated right now. And so that makes them nice. We generally go through a green bean patch and pick it about three times before we pull it up. But we didn't get our green beans picked last week, and so this week we are thinking that we will just we decided that we would just pull them up and because they're the green beans are pretty big and they're so loaded plus we're dealing with mud and it was an easier thing just to go through and pull them up and I think this has convinced us that we might just do this all the time make one picking pull the beans up and be done with it this is what we're leaving in our wake as we're going along, we're just pulling up the plants and picking the beans off. Look at those lovely loaded down green beans. They've done so well out here. The bug uh, damage is minimal, but it's wonderful and we're amazed. It's very important that you keep your green bean plants well watered in order to make good quality green beans. You want the size of the, the pods to be large, but you also need the beans to grow a little bit and not be a flat pod that doesn't have any bean in it, but you want the, a lot of moisture content in your individual green beans. What The, the variety we grow is Jade 2 and they produce a nice, fairly straight bean that grows pretty long. And I think we're going to stick with that. We've done that for several years now. So it's the kind we like. This is the patch where the okra is growing on the far end. In between here and the okra, we have eggplant. And then those red flowers are coxcomb that we'll be harvesting soon and then farther along there we've got the okra up with a little more I think than one and a half big crates of these uh, green beans. This crate is about eight inches tall and I'm real happy with and very surprised in fact. So hope hopefully people are green bean hungry tomorrow at the market. We think we got about 75 pounds of green beans and so we put them in our produce house to cool off for a while and we're in the house cooling ourselves off and we thought we'd have a good glass of iced tea. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.